Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Macon Campbell and this is Macon Stuff. So today I'm finally going to attempt building a propane gas burner for the mini forge that I built a couple of weeks ago. I definitely didn't foresee myself using disposable gas cartridges for my forge uh, for the rest of my life. But that's what I had at the moment and I wanted to see if I could get that to work. And happily it did work. I did manage to forge a pair of tongs and I also managed to forge a mini axe. What I will say is that by no means could I get the steel to the desired temperature which meant that it cost a lot more work to move the steel. You know, I kind of knew this going in. Obviously, you're not going to get the same kind of heat out of a, a disposable gas torch um, that you would out of a proper propane burner. So the design I'm going with is based on a video that I saw on the King of Random uh, on YouTube. I'll leave a link in the description uh, to his build video. Very nice, very simple, and uh, now I just got to see if I can pull it off. So let me walk you through the hardware that I bought and how it's going to go together to make this burner. So starting from the gas tank, it's going to go something like this. First in line is going to be this high pressure propane or LPG regulator. Second in line is this hose that I had made. I think these are 3 8 inch connectors. One will obviously go into the regulator and the other one will go to our torch. Next in line, which will be connecting to this side, will be this uh, 90 degree elbow. That will go in there. Next we'll have this one going in here so that we can connect the ball valve, which will be this one. Once we got the ball valve in, next we'll get another one of these connectors. After which we'll put on this uh, coupler. Next in line will be this uh, brass plug. From here we have two choices. Uh, you can either drill a 0.6 millimeter hole into this plug and have that act as the jet for your burner. Or secondly, you can tap a 6 millimeter hole in there and use a 0.6 millimeter MIG welding tip. I think I'm going to go with this method, then I can interchange the jets to suit my needs. Once this whole thing is put together, this will have to be somehow fixed into here. How we're going to do that is we're going to drill four holes in the side here and tap them to accept these 6mm bolts in order to keep the coupler fastened inside. Onto that will go this uh, piece of pipe. For the purposes of using it in the forge, this is pretty much done. If I'm going to be using it outside the forge, I'll add this flare to it. That, ladies and gentlemen, is roughly what my burner is going to look like. So I have a very healthy respect for gas. In fact, it might actually be an unhealthy respect. Truly, I'm terrified of working with gas. In the unlikely event that I do blow myself up, hopefully this footage would have survived and someone can salvage it from the wreckage and share it with you guys because I'm sure that video will go viral just like that. So I hope you're as excited as I am to get this done. So uh, let's do it.
Okay, so I've done a bit of testing off camera and uh, this is where I am right now. So I think that's a fairly good flame. I'm sure I'm going to get my steel heated up a lot quicker with this than I am with my little portable blowtorch. So I'm just going to do a couple more finishing touches. I'm going to uh, shorten these bolts a little bit, make sure everything is nice and tight, and uh, I'll give it its maiden voyage in the forge. 